You you elevated the space with regard to <sighs> iba yung ano eh, when you elevated you elevated the the audio experience. Eh. Mm. Paano, what was the conversation behind the scene? How did you think about investing in it to to make it happen? Um, Morris had a worldwide hit, Feelings. Yes. Uh, and he had other songs uh, that became number one hits. Gonna Love You More by, who's Gonna Love You More? Um, ben, Benson. George Benson. George Benson. Okay, so he, he did all of this performing stuff, but his love was the production side. He loved you know, creating the music, the hit of Martin, you, um, please don't throw, we, it was in our bedroom. He brought a little keyboard. That please don't throw my love. That's Morris's song. Weren't we going to cover that, diba? Yeah. We were thinking about covering that song yeah, that was as it. intro voice. Well, we were in the room and then he says, I'm writing something for Martin. And he, I was on the bed, I think I was buntis, I'm not sure. And he was on the floor with a small keyboard yeah. And he wrote that song for Morris. Ooh. Yeah. For Martin. For, I mean, for, for Ma Morris did it for Martin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's how it started. And then, you know, yung ikaw ang lahat sa akin. That was at our studio. And then the, the, the guy just couldn't get the guitar solo. Who? I don't remember who it was. But anyway, <laughs> there was a guy that was hired to do the guitar solo and he just, he couldn't do it. So Morris says, just everybody go home. Late na ng gabi. The next day, he played, which is still today being copied. -na 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 That's Morris. Wow. Yeah. Uh -uh. Ang producer noon yata was Chito Ilaga. Chito Ilaga, yeah. who is now with Polly East. Yeah. Yes. So I have a story about Chito Ilaga. I want to hear that. Chito story? Yeah. Okay. Hi, boss Chito. Two things. <laughs> Hi, Chito. So one of the stories is, Morris is uh, Brazilian, so okay. cough, coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Ooh. Sabi niya, I can't stand this guy. So he, we bought a pot like this, and he mixed the coffee. I mean, it had to be according to his yeah. taste, di ba? Mapaklay. So sabi ni, sabi ni Chito, ang sarap nito. Naku, ang sarap. Five coffee cups later, oh, naku, ang sarap nito. The next morning, we had a maybe a nine or ten o'clock schedule. No Chito. No Chito. No Chito. Say maybe slightly after lunch, Chito comes and his eyes are like this. Hindi nakatulog. Sabi niya, grabe naman pala yung kape. Na over coffee siya. Yung mata ni Chito talagang ganun. You know, it was the funniest thing. And then um, um, uh, there was a time when Mor Morris loved Chito, by the way. And then uh, Morris got a car. It was a Lambda. Uh, I know that. The Mitsubishi Lambda. It was not a Mitsubishi at the time. It was uh, from Italy. Oh. Uh, gamma, la, la, something Gamma. Anyway, so it was a sports thing. Lambda. Oh my no. God. Anyway, so, hey, Chito, do you want <laughs> do you want to try the car? Oh, you drive, Morris. Okay. Nawala sila. Oh. Eh, e Rodriguez. Wala right. pang traffic with right. e Rodriguez. Yes. Pagbalik. Pagbalik nung kotse, bukas yung pintuan, sabi ni Chito, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi siya makatindig. Yung legs niya nag-crumble. Sabi niya, oh my God. Sabi niya, when Morris says, are you ready? Ready. Sabi ni Morris, wong. Sabi ni Chito, yung likod daw niya, jong. <laughs> And so that those were the experience. I mean, you know, you count on those. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Those yeah. those those songs that you mentioned, they're, they're timeless. Yes. Whether mapa George Benson, yes. whether mapa Martin Rivera. Yeah. What was it like having witnessed all of this? Now, up to now, when you hear it, like like Tirmo, this is so so intrinsic. Dial. Nan, ito, kami. We were we were we were around this desk thinking about what to sing for the next intro voice concert, and we talked about. Please don't throw my love away. Yes, we you talked. You should. Why don't you? Pero di ba parang yeah. and now I have you here and you witness the creation of this song. Yes. Yeah. Do you know that Morris uh, also did an English version of Dahil Sayo, and uh, he did it a la bossa. 
you know. And so uh, he got the, his name escapes me right now, which is horrible, the composer. Right. So, uh, not uh, Le- Levy. No, 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 no not Levy. Was yeah. it, it wasn't Levy Celerio? No. Uh, anyway, it'll come to me. It's not George Canseco? No. No, no, no. Jay Park is searching that. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, Morris says, I need him to hear this song. I need to know if this meets with his approval. Because Morris wanted to make sure he was respectful right. to the composer. So we invited him to Bahay, Dun Kami sa Corinthian. And so we, we were there in the room that Morris had transformed into a studio. And then the guy was just like this, no? And Morris was looking at him. He goes, just a moment. Tinigil ni Morris yung music. music. Tapos sabi niya, if you don't mind. He got the chair. And he put the guy right beside the speaker on the left ear. And after that, Morris played it again. Umiak. I can't remember his name right now. What's, What's the name of the composer? Anyway. Dial, so, dial up yung telephone ni JT. Uh, <laughs> so that was one of the nice stories. So he did... Pam, 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 bada, 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 Mike Velarde. Mike Velarde. So, oh, okay. Dahil sayo... There is summer breeze. Baka siguro, that's, maybe that's why you were at the city show because of the whole Bossa Nova maybe. thing. No, but the exposure kasi to Bossa Nova was even before my ex-husband. Okay. There was a guy from the US who uh, lived on Lafayette Street where we lived in Green Hills. He was further down. La Consai, ang last name. Oh. I can't remember his first name. But he brought Wave, the record Wave by Jobim. And the minute I heard it, I just went, <gasps> it's like, it's like I belonged, you know, <laughs> some music na yon. He gave it to me and wow. he left it with me. And so I had this love for, for Brazilian okay. music. Wait, question. Yeah. Let's go back to Mike Velarde. Why okay. was he sat by Morris on? Ah, sorry, sorry. He had one of his ears he couldn't hear. So it was his left ear. So Morris moved the chair. I don't know how Morris figured it out, you know, but Morris put the chair right. We had this huge speaker, put him there and then played it again. And Velarde just cried. You know, he, he, he loved it so much. And, you know, I met the, the daughter or the niece several years ago here in NASA States. And I said, you know, you're, da-, and she said, yes, yes, we, oh. all, we all know the story. Yeah. Yeah, ang galeng, galeng ng story. Music is so universally unifying, you know. 